Hey guys, Uncle Steph here. So I'm going to talk about what's going on in the JavaScript world in 2025 and uh, why you shouldn't really care too much unless you're in a specialized area of development. So you got Schwelt 5 released in October 2024. Schwelt 5 uh, introduces Ruins, Runs rather, not Ruins, excuse me, Runs. A new approach to declaring reactive state and snippets for reusable code segments. You got Angular 19, released again November 24. So it has an enhanced standalone component architecture. You got Tori version 2, again October 24, expands its cross-platform capabilities to include mobile support for iOS and Android. You have Remix, an open source full stack web framework designed for building web applications with front-end JavaScript frameworks like React and Vue. You got HTMX. I looked at that before, actually. So JavaScript, if you don't know, is the ever-changing ecosystem. It just goes on and on and on. And if you try to keep up with everything that's going on in JavaScript world, you're going to drive yourself absolutely insane. Insane. You don't want to do that. This is too much. The fact of the matter is, for the vast majority of development these days, what was in vogue uh, five, six, seven, eight years ago is 100% still usable today. And you'd be surprised, especially in the freelance space, how prevalent some of the oldest technologies uh, ever to walk this earth are still quite popular. Lots of Java out there, lots of old school PHP, lots of WordPress, you know. There's even a lot of jQuery being used, you know, although not directly like it was, but it's still, you know, it's leveraged with bootstrap there's another example bootstrap if you are new to the javascript world you don't want to get overwhelmed with all the different libraries out there and you got to remember all the remix people say theirs is the best and all the tory people say theirs is the best all the angular people say theirs is better than react it's better than Vue, etc and so on so you don't want to get caught up with that my advice to you if you're new Learn the fundamentals of javascript learn them well understand the dom understand what ajax is understand how the language works within the web browser, understand a little bit about Node if you want to go in that direction, and then start building things. My consistent message in software development is that not any developer in the world knows more than a tiny fraction of what's going on out there. I today, decades later after having started programming in the 90s, I actually forget a lot of what I've knew in the past. Now, it would take me like, you know, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour to get back up to speed, but... You'd be surprised. Look around at the job. So learn your fundamentals. Jump into uh, building real things. And if you decide that a Schvelt or an Angular or a Remix or HTMX makes sense for your given projects, then learn that. Otherwise, don't sweat it. All right, I'm Uncle Steph. Hope you found this video useful. I know maybe some of you were hoping I was going to go into great detail about these JavaScript frameworks. Again, something I've been talking about for years, JavaScript has become... Too much, too much, too much new stuff. And what you're going to find is that a lot of these technologies, these libraries and frameworks that come out, will have uh, at best marginal, will provide at best a marginal improvement over what's already out there, uh, with some exceptions. You know, you may have a particular project that could take particular advantage of Remix, or you have a particular project that, that could take particular advantage, advantage of Angular 19, as opposed to Angular 18. So, um, but that's the nature of the game, man. Technologies are maturing. They're very mature. Uh, these days, in 2025, instead of learning some new JavaScript library, new JavaScript framework, what I would learn is how you can work with, a with AI to enhance your uh, coding capabilities. If you're a total beginner, just build stuff and learn about running clean code, learn about design patterns, you don't want to learn algorithms. You don't want to learn data structures. Any beginner's course will cover enough in terms of data structures. No, it's all about design patterns, all about the fundamentals. Oh, refactoring. You want to learn refactoring. You do that, you're going to be a pro JavaScript developer, a pro developer at the highest level. Again, I'll leave you with this. People who know me know what I'm going to say. The key to becoming a pro developer is not to master uh, a particular language. It's not about the language or of a library. It's about being a master programmer. A master programmer could walk into any language just about and get up to speed within a couple of days. That's a master developer, master programmer. That's what you want to do. Why do I say algorithms and design patterns are kind of like meh? Well, they've always been meh, except for a, 
applying for jobs. Meh means not important. Why? What you're gonna find in most development algorithms and data structures, the deep knowledge that, uh, I don't know, AI and big data people might need or game developers might need, 99.9% .9 of programmers don't need that. Thank you.